Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be covering how to integrate my combat component asset with Epic's game animation sample. Let's start by opening the sandbox character blueprint and adding the combat component. Then open the combat player blueprint, copy the inputs and paste them into the sandbox blueprint and connect them to the correct spots. Let's drag the spring arm camera and replace it for all these error nodes. Also, add a can attack to true from the combat component here. Next, open the skeletons for the sandbox character and my asset skeleton, and then open the asset details for both. Then assign each one to the other. This is going to allow them to share animations. Let's also copy and paste the sockets. Now let's open the animation blueprint, animation graph, and under class settings, let's add the combat interface, double click on the link and connect these pins. So I've detailed the exact steps on what to do in the documentation, but I'm feeling a little lazy in terms of recreating it. So you can actually copy and paste them from online if you click the link here in the documentation. It's gonna take you to Blueprint UE, where you can copy this to clipboard, paste it in, and connect everything like so. What this is doing is taking all the logic here and saying, if we're traversing, use default slot. And if we're not, don't use it. Double check the purple node to make sure that the instance is set to ABP combat and that these boxes are checked. Last thing, make sure you set in the combat component that use external locomotion is true. And now you're all set. You can use weapons and still use traversal actions. Some things you may have noticed are that the weapons don't look that good when held. We can fix this by adjusting the sockets. I'm also changing the rifle transition time to zero so it holds this animation of the gun forward so that I can better adjust things. Also, the hands get this weird disconnect thing. So in the skeleton, I'm showing retargeting options. Starting from root, I'm going to put animation scaled. And on spine one, I'm putting skeleton. Now the animations look better and I can continue adjusting the sockets. I'll also open up the weapon blueprint itself and adjust the IK sphere locations. And we can see that it's going to adjust the hands as well since we're using IK. Also open the teleporter sender blueprint and add a cast to character. This will ensure that your weapons get teleported with your character. Also, that the only thing it works on are characters. Otherwise, when you use the teleporter, you'll find your weapons have been shipped off into space. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you all found this helpful. Reach out if you got questions. Late.